Windows, defined as openings that allow the passage of light and sometimes air into a, a structure, have been around for about 3,500 years. For the vast majority of that time, windows were just openings that sometimes covered with retractable wood, paper, cloth. Uh, when I was a kid, I always was amused by how Dino the Dinosaur used to stick his head into the Flintstones house and interact with Fred and Wilma and later Pebbles, their, their daughter. There were no window frames, sashes, or, or glass. And true to the period, it was a cave motif. It was the Romans, after conquering Egypt and taking possession of all that sand, which is the major ingredient in glass, by the way, that came up with a way of using glass for windows. Still, about 2,000 more years uh, went by, and the vast majority of windows remained just openings and buildings with covering until the mid-17th century when glass production and glazing methods became more practical. Initially, this glass glazing served three purposes. First, to continue to let in light through the opening. Second, to keep some of the weather outdoors. And third, to keep Dino the Dinosaur and other critters from uh, entering the building and buzzing about at their will. It wasn't until a couple of hundred years later that uh, the window industry, driven by the concerns of the consumer, that's you, became interested in a fourth purpose, energy efficiency. Enter the insulated glazing, or what's referred to as the integrated glass unit. Layers, uh, that's layers of glazing in an insulated unit that must be held apart at an appropriate distance by an airtight gasket uh, system we call a spacer. Because of its excellent structural properties, window manufacturers started using aluminum or steel in the 1960s and 70s. Unfortunately, metals such as aluminum and steel are excellent conductors of heat, and aluminum spacers, predominantly used in most standard edge systems, represented a significant thermal short circuit at the edge of the IGU, uh, which reduces the benefit of the improved glazings, the glass that is. In addition to increasing heat loss, the colder edge is more prone to condensation and because of its rigidity, metal spacers have a lower resistance to the expansion and contraction forces in the IGU. Thus, the window or uh, door uh, will have a less resistance to stress cracks or even seal failure uh, in the integrated glass unit. Aluminum spacers uh, and spacers that utilize significant amounts of metal in their configuration, quasi-warm edge spacers we call them, are still used in many windows and patio doors today on the market. For a typical residential size window, changing from a standard aluminum spacer to a good quality warm edge spacer will improve the overall insulation value or the R value of the window by approximately 10%. As new highly insulating multiple layer uh, glass, like Jantex R5 Energy Miser 2 glass, are developed, the improved edge spacer becomes even more important. As a designer and manufacturer, we at Jantec uh, are constantly vigilant to ensure that we are pushing the envelope on energy and comfort performance of our windows and patio doors. Remember that the type of spacer used in your windows and patio doors, though it's very important, it's only one of the components of design uh, that factor into the overall energy and comfort performance uh, of the window or patio door. So if the need for energy and comfort performance of your replacement windows and patio doors is important to you, then you need to understand how to compare this important criteria between the different window and patio door proposals that you are receiving for your project. Uh, so I'm going to strongly suggest that you watch episode three of the Two Minute Window series. Uh, and that's on how to compare the energy and comfort performance of windows and patio door brands. Well, I've, I, I hope that this article uh, and the video have been uh, uh, helpful to you, uh, giving you a better understanding of the important role that the spacer system plays in the overall energy and comfort performance uh, of your windows and patio doors and those that you're considering for your replacement window project. If you have any questions, we at Jantech are experts in the design, manufacturing, and the installation of replacement windows and patio doors. We do it all here. We are intent on assisting you in making the best choice of your contractor and of the window itself. 
That's it for this episode, and I'm Frank G. Remember, save energy and capture comfort.